Howdy chaps, I'm going to test out a theory, I don't actually know if this is going to work, or how I'm going to do this with one hand and holding the phone, um, but this tail shaft is solidly rusty, it's actually a an original Jeep rear tail shaft I think, uh, quite rare because it's actually a tube, apparently the, the more common ones are the, the skinny ones, but this has had one night in citric acid, and a very old brew of citric acid uh, and water, Citric acid powder and water, should I say. So I'm going to now see how it comes out, because they obviously come out still looking rusty, but then it just wipes off notoriously. So I have a little bit of water on it. Yep, steady. And already stuff's coming off. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Those doggies rolling, rolling. Ah! Look at that. Obviously the water pressure is terrible. Am I singing? Oops. I appear to have smushed water onto my lens. Hang on. And we're back. Why does it keep doing that? Crappy water pressure. Now, citric acid is completely environmentally safe because it's Citric. Now if this brew was a bit stronger or I felt like putting this in for more than one day or just overnight it would um, come out a lot better. The longer you leave it the better it is. But as you can see the tail shaft is looking amazing. So much, you don't have to sandblast it or anything. You just soak it in this powder, which you can buy on eBay or from your health food stores, because that's where we get it from. And you just put it in hot water, because hot water works best. And put your rusty parts in it, and then pull them out. Obviously you have to neutralize it afterwards, so I'm gonna put some baking soda on this once I've finished. But once you get it out, you just give it a, a light wire brush and Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, she's all good. Unbelievable. Very nice. Look at that. If you ran over with a drill wire brush, it'd probably come out looking amazing. Um, so, what do you reckon, chaps? Not bad. See you on the next short one.